you want to let the arms and your body fall on this side for longer so it's not rotated to throw it out so early. So that was like so you fall longer. There. Yep. And I'm going there. There you go. The turn is to sling the arms out. Got it. You just fall. Boom up there, fall. Awesome. Now we're flushed out. We're talking about load phase, dog. Yep. This is kind of a cool way to think about golf swing. And I think you earn this right eventually, but we have, anything about the whole golf swing is a load phase and an unload phase. Okay. Like super simply. Yeah. If you know the P system, like P1, P2, P2, D, D, D. Okay. Um, easy way to think about that as well is P1 is address. Okay. P4 is top of golf swing, okay. top of backswing. And then the other phases are just levels, different levels. So either club level, P2, P3, lead arm level to the ground. Okay, right? got it. And then we get up here to P4. So P5 would be from P4 going back down to level with this lead arm. Okay. That's the finish of the load phase. Yeah, okay, so that's a very important distinction, right? Uh -huh. uh, most people would go load phase, unload, so that's like backswing, downswing, yeah. right? Load, unload. <laughs> right, but that's not it. Not our preferred pattern. Okay. You can do that, but we, we like to load for longer. Okay. And by the way, understanding what we're meaning by load phase is really important too. Like obviously the club needs to be loaded. So we are bowing it. There's some torque. Mm -hmm. um, you're loading up arm lines. Okay. And you're loading up the lead side upper spiral line. Loading a spiral line is super similar to the boat drill, which we've done that, that mm -hmm. video before. But if I'm gonna load this lead side upper spiral, okay. I'm taking this upper spiral and I'm just pulling on it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Got it. So it just knocks the air out of you. Right? Yeah. It's okay. like compresses your diaphragm, the whole thing. Sure. So that's loaded. Uh -huh. A loaded fascia line is just one that's stretched. Okay. So this line that you just showed right across here is stretching. Yep, exactly, exactly. So I'm sure what you could do is just put up the fascial line sure. of the spiral. And it's that nice blue line, looks like a rubber band. Mm -hmm. And we're just pulling that rubber band from right up in here under that scap and across here, up, back and away. That's a loaded spiral. Okay. So at P5, we're here. So you can see this is pulled up, back and away. You can see how this scap is depressed. This is all like these ribs are separate. You see this nice bend in the thoracic. So you can see how this spiral going this way is pulling you up back and away. So that's one. Okay. And we also want the lead posterior arm line. Okay. To be loaded. Okay. So one of the easiest ways to do that is adduct. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. So we're adducting this lead arm and you can feel from right here, this whole line, yeah. that whole fascial line is stretched and the anterior trail arm line is stretched. So that's just going this way? Yep, yep. So that's a ton of abduction, some scaps, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, but in essence, if I do that, you'll feel this load stretch. If I do this, you'll feel this load and stretch. Yep. That's the fully loaded face. The upper spiral line, anterior trail arm, posterior lead arm, okay. and the club all loaded up. Got it. So how do we get there? This is a really great drill. So if you have a, a medicine ball, especially this one's nice, or a kettlebell would be okay. good. Yeah. So if you're holding it here and I want to move the ball, uh -huh. well, I could move it in a couple of different ways. I could do this, which just let, let's just eye test this. Does this look better or does this look better? Yeah, I'm going to go with the second one. Exactly. Most people would agree like second one looks a little bit better. Yep. Okay, well, what we're seeing, again, from the eye test is like, oh, that athletically looks better. Okay. And what we're doing when we're doing this properly, let's just focus on the posterior lead arm line. As soon as I move my center of mass of my ribs away from the target and I leave the arms and the ball behind, I do not load this. Okay, so, so that, that lead arm line's not loaded yet. The backswing, uh -huh. the whole time in the backswing, I'm not loading. The, the posterior. Interesting, which, I mean, maybe we're jumping ahead here, but one of the main things that we see as a fault, right, is immediate load exactly. of the lead arm. So once you adduct, yep. you've loaded the posterior lead arm line. Yeah, it's all stretched. Yep. Right. The problem with that is if we kept doing that all the way up to the top, to the top, one, the club could get way deep. And number two, in transition from P4 to P5, it's wanting to boom, boom. unload. Yeah, totally. Exactly, okay. which is a problem because now we're getting all the unload here 
Well, there ain't no ball back here, man. Nope. It's down here still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair So enough. what do you got from here? You just like push and do all kinds of stuff to ah! just juice it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got you. It's just this extra like late blast that okay. just feels gross. Super un like inefficient. Okay. So no good to move the ball with adduction early. Yep. Okay. Way better to move the ribs. So how this would work. So if I've got this trail side, mm -hmm. upper spiral line. Yep. I want that activation to toss the arms up yep. for most folks. Okay. Now, again, you can overdo it because this doesn't look all that good either. No, it doesn't. Okay. Right? So there is some amount of arm fire. But yep. for most people, because they arm fire too much in excess and early, mm -hmm. it's going to feel way better for them to sling their arms up here because of the spiral. Because line. of the ribs. Okay. And how this works. Again, so we'll go lateral movement. So mm -hmm. there's the rib sway in the ribs. See, I just can leave my arms and hands and club behind here. Mm -hmm. And then now as I go upper spire, upper spire, upper spire, upper spire, upper spire, oh, look at that. Yeah. I almost look fully turned and my arms are still down here. Yeah, so maybe you could like face down the line here because yep. that's a really interesting look what I just saw there. So go ahead and show me that those spiral lines starting the swing. So we got rib sway, upper spire, upper spire, upper spire, upper spiral, upper spiral. Good. And like to you, this is like pretty dang relaxed Ooh, right here, feeling. right? It's like yeah, it's just limp loose, noodle. Yep, right? exactly. So at what point does that actually get stretched? Well, that's super important to know, okay. right? So this is why it's so, so, so important to look at the golf swing as dynamic mm -hmm. and not static. So drills where folks will go up to the top and hold, the reason that I can hold it up here is because that's an activated tr like muscle that's muscle activation yes. fascial activation yeah so now i can hold it up here when in actuality what we would like to see is sure it would kind of just super fall. soft yeah exactly exactly so what we want is enough energy in this trail upper spiral line sure to sling or toss the arms up got it and as they're going up i could fall and start to turn the other way. Got it. So there's two different ways to, to adduct. Mm -hmm. I can either adduct because of the arm, actually adducting. Okay. So this, the, the active mover here is the humerus. Okay. Right? The humerus bone is moving. Now I loaded that up. Or I could start turning the rib system into it, and now I've adducted. Gotcha. So that was nothing you did by actually moving going, the arm this exactly. way. But if you move your ribs into that system, now this all loads up. Exactly. So this all will work this way. So go back to neutral. There's setup. Okay. So if you go rib sway, and there, there's the up, there's the upper spiral. Let's start to upper spiral, so upper spiral, upper spiral, upper spiral. And in actuality, the arms would be about right here. If you did that with enough energy, you'd toss the arms up, like sure. the arms would keep working up. Yeah. That act alone initiates a little bit. Of, of, that po uh, of that posterior lead okay. arm line. But as I'm doing this, I got your arm, you're gonna drop and start to rotate the ribs the other way. Now it's loaded. Yep, now it's fully loaded. Now what does it wanna do? Boom! Uh -huh. Now I can unload that's, at the proper time. That's, so, that's such a good feeling when that happens too. Exactly, exactly. So we have a no, no load in, in backswing here. Yep. Then in the transition phase. So this is, this is a good look too. So from P1, to about P2.5 ish, somewhere between like P2 and P3. Okay. That's the finish of the backswing. Okay. Okay. Say that shit again. <laughs> yeah, right. right. So I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Now, if I put enough energy in this upper spiral, woo! It slings up to the top. Yeah. So it's, it's just not actively being boom, 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 boom. Yep, yep. So right. we're not just pushing this up here to get to the, to get to the top. Yeah. Right? Like now I've loaded this. Yeah. No dice. Okay. okay. So we have to have, the, the transition is from like P2.5 to P5. Which is That's massive, the transition phase. Right, compared to how most people view transition, right? And that's why like when we're, when we're loading this up, we've got swing, I'm active. Mm -hmm. Woo, it goes, swing, slow, stop. Yeah. What? <laughs> swing, slow, stop. That's yeah. the backswing. Woo! Which and is, the start of the transition. Woo. Which again, that kind of leads back to what you were saying before, like when people do these like freezer drills, for instance, right? What you're showing there is like, is like this club's like 
falling on you. That's how it should kind of feel at the top. Yep. And when people do freezer drills, it's like push, activate, now I'm gonna try to hit it from here. I want width. Yeah, well you're training a quick unload. Yeah, because it's loaded. Yeah, because you can't, can't keep that, right? Well, you could, you could, but, you could, but it's gonna feel gross. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't Like look. nobody's gonna do that, everybody's gonna wanna hit. Sure. Well, the reason that we hit is we've loaded up a fascia line. Sure. Like if I'm gonna smoke you, I'm going whoop, anterior, <laughs> yeah. trail, arm. I could smoke you right now. Yeah, for Boom, sure. Boom, right? Yeah. Okay, well if I did this, See, see how like in this, in this phase, anterior line isn't loaded. Uh -huh. So I would have to step, keep this going away. Now it's loaded, now I could fire. Mm -hmm. So we want the load phase to be at the, the appropriate time so the unload phase can be at the appropriate time. So the fully loaded, all of those lines loaded are much later than most people would generally do that. And much right? calmer. You're not trying to load, it's yeah. a passive load. Sure. All you do is fall and turn to load, there you go. So now we've got upper spiral, posterior lead arm line, anterior trail arm line. That's hard as a rock right there. So now if you just fire, everything just goes. You can just yeah. wash all the energy out of the system. But before then, before that hard as a rock, everything's chill. And chill and it boom. builds, it builds. It's wave-like. Yeah. Calm, it starts to crest and then it can wash out, yeah. right? So we've got no load phase when it comes to this lead arm line. Uh -huh. That's the finish of the backswing. Got it. This is the start of transition because it would still be going up. I would be dropping and starting to turn the other way. Got so it. that's transition. Now I'm fully loaded. So now I can go into the unload phase. Okay. No load, load, unload. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's the sequence. That's the sequence. Okay. Yep. So that's the, the load is really important because what we're constantly looking to do is feel better and better through the unload phase. Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't work the load phase appropriately, yeah. It's harder down it's here. It's going to be difficult down at the unload it's phase. It's harder through here, exactly. Got and it. when guys are hitting it really well, consistently really well, they feel tremendous from P5 through like P9, the finish of their golf swing. Mm -hmm. right. and that's, this whole unload's like easy. And a lot of that tremendous feeling that you're talking about happens just because this load phase was so nice, yep. right? Now from here, like it's pretty simple to unload the golf club, right? It's just turn the chest, yep. let the club out. Yep, exactly. So it makes it so much easier. And, and guys explain it in such funny ways. Uh, you know, I hit it really well today because my rhythm was good. What the heck does that mean? Mm -hmm. What is rhythm? Right? My t I felt good with my tempo. Mm -hmm. uh, I covered it well. Like everybody's just trying to say something that just encapsulates like the whole thing. Mm -hmm. The reason that happens is because they are loading and unloading their system at the proper times appropriately and in nice rhythm. It's wave like, it's mm -hmm. not bolts. Yeah. Boom. It loads and washes out. Yeah. Depending on how far you want to hit it. Right. So that like wave like rhythm, that's like such a fundamental like yeah. <laughs> testament to what we're talking about here, right? Absolutely. And fascia and muscle activation likes to work in waves, not in pulses. It's a very safe way to operate. Got it. And super efficient because it won't feel like you're working that hard. Okay. You can bust it. So what's maybe an exercise that we could do with a golf club, right? And again, talking novice, intermediate, yep. to teach them how to load this up. I would start without a golf club. Start first. without a golf club. So something okay. that has a lot of weight or mass to it, 20 pounds or so. Yeah. But we want to move this. Like if, I, if this is super heavy, like if I'm holding like a big old TV right here, the last thing I'm going to do is move it with my arms. No, you're going to have to move it with your whole body, right? Exactly. Exactly. So to get this swinging, yep. I need to start moving the center of mass and see how... Now center the, of mass being in here. Center of mass in my ribs. So yep. I got center of mass over here and then here come the arms. Then the center of mass goes over here. There go the arms. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep. If I just tossed a little like upper spiral with this in the backswing, whoop, it would toss it up here. You even got yourself a backswing. So I go boom, okay. boom. But if you watch the rhythm of it, swing slow stop. Yep. Whoop. Yes. So you can see, whoop. So now if I wanted to huck it the other way, I could drop whoop, and toss yes. it out here. So that's, that's, again, that's how that loading, that fully load happens. You got swing slow stop, oh. drop. Yep. And turn, and as that's happening, now you get to boom, unload up the other direction. Then you can just zip it out the other way. Yeah. You can toss anything out that yeah. way that you want. Right. Even if it's really massive, you can still huck it. Uh-huh. But you're never going to huck it this way. No. 
but you get a and light, a light golf yourself. club in your hand and it's easy to do that. So training with that heavy thing in your hand exactly. forces you to do some of these things, right? Exactly. And okay. then what you can do is just kind of play around with some extension in the trail rest to load up the club head. Okay. So, cause again, this doesn't look quite right. No, it looks a little floppy. It's, it's right. floppy and you don't know where the golf club is. Okay. So as you start to go here, See, I'm like sending the arms like this way, my ribs are going the opposite way. Well, then I could feel, all right, what if I just went boom, boom. So I'm still ribs, then extension of the trail rest. And you're just loading up that trail yep. rest as you arms, do arms, there go, there go my ribs, and then boom, there goes Ooh. the trail rest. Exactly, now you'll feel the whole system like work. Yep. And if you put enough energy in it, it'll float up there. There you go. As it's floating, you drop and start to turn out the other way. There it is, look how long you chill. Yeah, long chill. So if you hit a ball like that, Teej. Okay, same deal. Same deal, same exercise as the ball. Boom. Let's just see how long you can float up there. Yeah. Because this is in the process of loading. This meaning the posterior yeah. lead arm line. In the process of now it's loaded, I feel like I can go. So almost the longer you wait, the more it can load, right? Is exactly. that a well, decent the way of looking at it? The more that the ribs can separate away from that lead arm line, mm -hmm. now it can't load it. It's, it's, well, it's unloaded, it can load, but it's unloaded right now, so it can't fire. Uh -huh. If a fascial line's unloaded, it can't fire. Uh -huh. Or feels gross to you. Sure. Right? So now, I gotta, now I've got to like wait for it to load, now I can fire. Woo, there you go. So as you're falling and going the other way, oh, now it's adducted, it's loaded, you can fire. So let's show one that like almost looks absurdly long in transition. Let's sure. see what that looks like. Let's get crazier with the separation between the ribs and the lead arm. Oh, shank. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Now do that again. Yeah. But all that is, is you want to let the arms and your body fall on this side for longer so it's not rotated to throw it out so early. So that was like... So you fall longer. There. Yep. And I'm going... There. There you go. The turn is to sling the arms out. Got it. You just fall. Boom, up there, fall. Awesome, now we're flushed out. So now it's not pitching over the plane. Cool, yeah. Super good. Yeah. Okay, now, last one to kind of wrap it up here. Okay. Show one with early adduction. Okay to swing the golf club back. So you're not doing it with your ribs, you're doing it with this lead arm and just hit one. Just a normal one, but just like early adduct, like right off the bat. So it looks a heck of a lot different. Yeah. And it feels world's different too. Yeah, it does. Yep. Okay. So again, going to this load phase, understanding our three phases. We've got backswing phase, which again is from like P1 to P2.5, P3 at the very latest. Got it. Transition phase from about P2.5 all the way to P5 is transition. So you got all this time where it's floating to organize everything into delivery mm -hmm. or P5. And now we've got the unload phase. Got it. That would be no load backswing, load transition, unload through impact and into finish. So those are the Chill, three phases of the golf swing. Load, unload. That's the golf swing. Okay. <laughs> and the unload's what we're looking for. Yeah. It is way less complex than the load or the, the, the backswing. And, and the transition, the whole load phase. Mm -hmm. So that's why we spend so much time spent, spent there yeah. so that when you're organized here, you can just fire and go yeah. and not even really think through the strike. It True. just makes it so much easier. Down Way there. easier, yeah. So load correctly makes the whole golf swing easier for you. Absolutely.